Phoebe, tell me a little bit about what you're holding, why you made it, mm -hmm. and what it means to you. So I took part in the Field Notes Summer School, which was run through the Silk Foundation in conjunction with the V&A Museum. And this is a um, two-week programme, and this last week we've all been sort of formulating our thoughts about the importance of using timber as a natural and regenerative material, particularly homegrown timber. And the concept that I explored was initially looking at balance within nature, and how they need to how we need to consider our actions and our intrusion upon a lot of ecosystems and one conversation that prompted the thoughts for this was about um rhodia populations and how if there's not a predator to control their population it does have an impact on tree growth because they overgraze and so this object that i'm holding hopefully demonstrates that with these wedges there is an intrusion but it's being controlled and delicately encases this round object here. And so I've made this from um, green ash and elm, both of which are related due to the diseases they're currently suffering with. Um, and yeah, the wedge itself is quite a universally used shape. It can create stability if you've got a wobbly table, for example. The wedge is also used to uh, fell trees and split logs. So it's all about controlling that intrusion and kind of mitigating the consequences. How was it working with these two materials? It was amazing. This, so we saw this ash being milled and it was milled this thin, actually about the particular board that I used was about five mil thick. And I've never seen that before, which is amazing. Um, but it was just such a blessing because I've never worked with them before. And it was so beautiful, the pieces that we had. Super. Well, thanks, Phoebe. It's, it's a wonderful piece and it explains so much about that interaction. And I'm glad that you um, have understood a little bit more about woodland management. Mm. And um, so very nice to meet you. Well done. Thank you, Thank you so much.